clarify once I finish. Yeah? The Allah, Islamic Allah of the Quran things, you can get back to the husband, the first husband. But let me read, read to you what Yahweh of the Bible can thinks. I, can I, can I, can I you can, can, you I, can, once I finish. So what does Yahweh of the Bible think? Let me read to you again. If a man divorces his wife and she goes from him and becomes another man's, may he return to her again. Rhetorically, he's asking, may he return to her again? Yeah. Would not that land be greatly polluted? So Yahweh of the Bible thinks, the moment you leave, you can't come back. It's a one-way street. That's Yahweh of the Bible, yeah, yeah, clearly okay. contradictory to the to the Sharia as given in the Quran. The question to you is, there, there is, I, I can see only one way to reconcile these two, and that is by saying, clearly, Yahweh of the Torah, is completely opposite in character to Islamic Allah of the Quran. Yahweh of the Old Testament is saying to the people, to the Jews, yeah, yeah, that that the, when the divorces one go, there is no way to return. That's it. So it's divorce for eternal. So this one, and then we have another saying in the same Bible which are holding, which is the Jesus of the New Testament is saying, no, you cannot divorce at all. Now here. Can't you see there is, again, contradiction between this and this? Can you see that? The New Testament says, a man is not allowed to divorce unless there is sexual immorality involved. So, does the New Testament, does the New Testament allow divorce? Yes, it does. Perfect. You claim it's a contradiction between the Old Testament and the New Testament. And I'd like to tell you, it's clearly not a contradiction. Uh, you have understood a meaning of contradiction incorrectly. This is the point. If you are allowed to uh, be married to one person and then go marry some other person and then come back to the same person, what that would lead to is basically a disrespect for the institution of marriage. Because you can go anywhere around. Consider this. Old Testament, New Testament, same principle. Same principle. And then comes along Quran. Quran goes against this principle by saying, if you want to marry him again, go to another man and then come back. That is what I call exact polar opposite and contradiction. Okay. I will answer. By the way, I'm not running away from the answer. For us, we never claim, Muslims, we never claim that Allah is Yahweh. Perfect. We never claim this. Good. Yeah, we never claim this. Good. Excellent. You know. yeah, excellent. Excellent. We never claim this. Absolutely. And Very as good. well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Very good. Thank you. Thank I don't you. need. I don't, I'm not, I don't need to do well, it. We're agreeing on that. So thank you. Allah mentioned to us in the Quran about His name, and He named Himself Tabarak wa Taala as Allah, and He named Himself as will reveal. On the tongue of the Prophet on the Quran, or on the tongue of the Prophet Allah has 99 names of the ones we are aware of now, nowadays. None of them is Yahweh. I really appreciate you agreeing on camera that Yahweh of the Bible is not the same, same as Allah of the Quran.